Hello everybody and welcome to Let's Play Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines um Venture Run where we're trying to be a bit of an asshole at the very least. I need to check if my set is okay. Yep, yep it is. Um okay, not it's not that go. kind of, of an asshole. <laughs> yeah. Um I I am ready to go. We can go. So fine. But anyways, today it's gonna be a fairly short session because it's late at night, but I wanted to get some gameplay in. I just, I want to get downtown and I honestly want to be skipping most of what there is to do in downtown. Simply because this isn't the only run that I'm gonna be doing. And I want to do a full good guy run as like the next run. And I want to do it on Tremere and do all of the side quests. So I'm just thinking that on my Ventru playthrough I'll skip most of them. Maybe I'll linger in Hollywood a bit. But I was I was just gonna ask him a question, but. Apparently my axe wasn't there, so... There we go. Now I have my axe ready to ask a question. Though, his blood was of a good quality. Something that I did not expect. Where some of this music is new. Not that I hate it. I, I'm kind of enjoying it. What's going on here tonight? Foxes all in everyone's face and shit. Didn't you hear? A new shipment came in. Some pretty serious hardware. Yeah, I heard. But what the fuck? We get that kind of shit in here all the time. What's so different about tonight? I don't know. Marcus is tense as a motherfucker. Maybe he heard something. Like what? Like, I don't know, but keep your fucking eyes open. And someone better tell those clowns in the freight house to quit playing cards before Marcus comes out and starts peeling fucking caps, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, I hear ya. Yeah, I have a feeling that the only direct route is through here. But they will definitely see me approach. This may as well be alarmed now. Alternatively, these two guys, they just, they're, they alarmed each other and nothing else. <laughs> I mean, that dude didn't even notice me coming, despite the fact that he was rather... I was like right right here killing a buddy of us. Like he's now confused as to where I am. Yeah, excuse me. Freeze motherfucker. <laughs> excuse me. <laughs> Goodbye. Um I I just have some questions to ask everybody. I I hope hope they don't mind. Yep, that's that's the entrance way. Is that where we came from? Cause I mean, there's a hobo there, and yeah, this is where I came from. Just so happened, get turned around. Okay, okay, I can I can see. Um, hi. Bye. Um. I will not believe if this is just gonna work. Very straightforward. Just if I... If I can wreck them. 
With just a friggin' axe. Thank you, I took down the shotgun guy. Yeah, what? One or a couple of you just continue coming. It's gonna serve as a shield. This works. Same with this one. I mean, at this point, they're missing a little bit, but that's fine. As long as they don't stop me from feeding, I'm perfectly fine with whatever they do, honestly. Okay, this is... Having an axe on a ventru is proving to be a bit OP at the start, I don't know why. Oh, that's that, that room cleared. You have to always remember to save and to oversave by a lot. I, you know what, I'll still do the entry through above because there's... There's a few nice things that I can pick up there. There's also one run that I want to do where I'm just going to be a gangrel and I'm trying I'm going to try and be low humanity from the very get go. So where I remember some items being over here. Maybe they moved. Up, oh, nope, nope. It's just that I have no skill that highlights shit for me, so they just weren't highlighted. Which is okay! Well, that room's definitely done. Okay, there, there's no way that you can't not cannot succeed on that one. Thank you. First person to get close will get brain wiped. Saying. No? You guys cool with just hanging out wherever you're hanging out? Okay. Aw, oh, you popped your buddy in the head. That's not very nice of you. That is definitely not very nice of you. And one of you died in the doorway? You just like popped by the person that was so... what? That, that dude just... This is a slaughter. This is an absolute slaughter. Don't suppose I can wreck your machinery? No. That is a lot of explosives. Any of you, Mercurio, like a long while ago, asked me for some painkillers, so I'm just like wondering if any of you 
ended up actually having any- Oh, hi! Actually, I kinda- Kinda need to heal, so you're kinda convenient. Ah, there we go. <laughs> Suppose he wasn't a very big boss, dude. He just had a shotgun. Not, not really any tougher than the rest of his brood. I could have just entered through here. But it would have been a bit pointless. Okay, they do have fire axe proof windows though, which is absolutely amazing. Don't know why you would ever fireproof your window, fire axe proof your window, but what do I know? Maybe it's just a thing that they enjoy doing. That dude just kind of chases you, but... <laughs> ah. Why is this OP? That's my question. Do we have like a more wolf guy or was that just it? That is just it. That's gonna be so disappointing. Remember a tough enemy just like bursting through the door and I remember running away from them. And that's where I came from. This is where I'm going, I think. Hopefully. Yay! <laughs> Hello! The warehouse. Your handiwork, I presume? Ah, oh, yes! Yeah, it was me. Hopefully no Sabbat saw you escape. They can be somewhat antagonistic. You think any of them survived? So are you a werewolf? <laughs> Not experienced much in the creatures of the night, are you? For future reference, you might keep in mind that werewolves aren't in the habit of introducing themselves. Okay, so if they introduce themselves, they're a Beckett, and if they don't, they're a werewolf. Got it. So you're not gonna kill me? I hadn't planned on it. Who who are you and why are you following me? I see my reputation for once does not precede me. My name is Beckett. I haven't been following you per se. We've just coincidentally been at the same places at the same time for different reasons. So sorry if I unnerved you. Tell me. Have you by chance seen or felt anything strange since your embrace? Ooh, having an interview in the middle of an explosion, my favorite. I saw a ghost at a local hotel? A ghost? Hm. Quite ordinary. I generally pay wraiths no mind. All but a few are willing to give up their secrets. I met some kindred at the beach that didn't really seem like kindred. She's undoubtedly Malkavian. Or should I say, they are undoubtedly Malkavian. Okay, that, that was the wrong one. That was the Therese one. Thin bloods. They're a fascination of mine. They are considered a weaker, more human-like kindred. Hence the name, Thin Blood. But they are sired same as any of us. I've heard a large concentration of them live in this city. They're one of the reasons I'm in Los Angeles. 
So how do you do your research? Do you like eat them? Okay, other than that, nothing else. Most of my contacts here report sensing something unusual in the night air. Like a sense of dread or pressure. But I'm not a native to these parts, so I can't tell if it's irregular. And since you're still fresh, perhaps you're not attuned to it. Alternatively, I just lived with fear and anxiety all my life. There are rumblings for me to discredit. We shall, I'm certain, meet again. Or never again. Good night, young one. And be careful. You're very likely being hunted by the Sabbat. Thumbs up to that! Good night. Yeah, you run. Oh, I can't really follow him. That's not fair. I wanted to see him transform into a Wolfums again. Uh, if you're really careful, you can actually see Wolfums quite a few places, so... Just, it's just the thing that he does. Nice work, Cupcake. I felt that explosion a mile away. It's all over the news, too. Man, there's gonna be some pissed off Sabat just howling for blood tonight. <laughs> Do you know someone named Beckett? Beckett? Well, I know of him. Why? I spoke with him. No kidding. Huh. Must be something major happening if he's in town. Beckett is a historian of sorts. He's unearthed more vampire lore than anyone. Well, that's all Beckett does. Seek the truth behind our condition. Okay, that sounds cool. Some questions. What do you need? What's the deal with you and Therese Foreman? That was just silly vampire politicking, Cupcake. No more. You get used to that kind of thing. I think Therese wanted you dead. Yeah, no kidding. Now that the Camarilla's moved into L.A., Therese wants the title of Prince of Santa Monica. I guess she saw me as a threat. Funny thing is, I could care less. Not a princess? That's interesting. What man is not intrigued by fame and power? I wouldn't want to be the Prince of Terra Haute. I leave that headache to the Ventru. Besides, there's only like four vampires in all of Santa Monica. <laughs> Some kingdom. You get to command all four people. You can invite them to D&D nights at your place. Did you know that she and Jeanette are the same person? Uh, uh, I had my suspicions. What an interesting specimen. But a pain in my dead ass for sure. Okay. What? what? Clans. Hmm. Clans are just bloodlines, you know. A common root shared and passed on from sire to child. Uh... <laughs> another. Mm -hmm. Yeah, tell me about... Nos, 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 nos. The Nosferatu are damn good at what we do. No one even argues that. If you need to know, if you want it found, you come to us. We're indispensable. Not a bad place to be in the afterlife. Um, lucky you. The Nosferatu stick together. Pool resources. We have more going on than anyone could guess at. Our web blankets the night. Uh, are you part of the Camarill? I'm loyal to the clan. Loyal to my primogen, and therefore... Loyal to the Camarilla. That... Wasn't very enthusiastic of you. The Nosferatu are the eyes and ears of the Camarilla, so they take care of us. They value our services, or uh, don't want to be on our bad side. Either way, no one bothers us. What do you think of the prince? What am I gonna say? He's the boss now. What about the guy that decapitated my sire? It's Lacroix's iron fist. No one knows the sheriff, really, except LaCroix. No one even knows the guy's name. There's lots of rumors about him, though. I heard LaCroix picked him up in Africa over a hundred years ago. Obviously, they work well together. Hope you didn't buy him. Like what? Okay. Plants. Sure. Mm. 
I'm, I'm gonna ask about myself. Well, they get a bad rap if you ask me. Everyone likes to take shots at the man in charge. But when it comes to getting the job done, the Ventru know how to step up. They can take the heat. Are you saying that because I'm a Ventru? Yeah, right. I'm talking about the powerful Ventru. You're just a pup. All, 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 all things in, in time. Sure. Hmm. Gangro. I'm pretty sure Beckett is Gangro. They fancy themselves loners and drifters running around the countryside and barking at the moon. <laughs> it's all just an act. Gangro can walk upright. They just choose not to. Do you blame them? Sure. Ah, uh, Malkavians. Malkavians are, uh, interesting. There's something to them. Learning to sort the wisdom from the bullshit can be some work, and, uh, not all of them are worth listening to, but, uh, they're all good fun, if you ask me. Is, is that, is that because you're seeing Jeanette, but okay. That's that's all I wanted to know. And honestly that might be because he's seeing Jeanette. Hey Report to LaCroix. We are gonna be speeding past downtown for I have made that choice. Hi! Where to? Away! Away! Have some butts to kiss and asses to lick and. Good Venture Girl be. You know, it's pretty funny that I always look at people like getting hit from behind. Let's take it and leave it out for the like, sunrise. We're going to have a lot of fun with I'm not an ant, I'm a she. Think you could blow up our warehouse and get away with it. Ah, uh, lick. <laughs> you guys like ever take showers because um one of you is covered in dust permanently. I want its teeth. Camarilla fuck. Boys. I think we could all use a little entertainment. Those of you sitting in the first few rows will get wet. Is that a promise or a threat? Leave. There's three of us, Rodriguez. Yeah. <laughs> three of us. What are you gonna do? Shoot us? <laughs> this ain't over. We'll find you. You too, Rodriguez. That dude's carrying a live dead. grenade Nobody on him. Messes with the sabbat and lives. Keep oh, what moving. happens if you miss? But where do you get live grenades? Trouble sure seems to like you. Good effort. Execution needs a little work. You look like shit. Name's Nines. Uh, thanks! Should have been more careful, newbie. This ain't the burbs. Uh, I'll remember that. You do that. Me? I got things to deal with. Why don't you pay me a visit at the last round tonight? I don't know what you've heard so far, but it's time you heard the real story. I'll think about this it. This is a mean existence. Stay out of trouble, kid. I'll try. But yeah, I'm always like very judgmental when people get snuck up like that from the behind going, Oh, that was so obvious. How you didn't you see them coming? But I am the absolute worst when it comes to people approaching me. Like, I don't, I don't see people coming for, for shit. Like, I don't see people in front of me. Let alone those behind me. Anyways, can we invest any more points into persuasion? That's seduction. Uh, 
combat today. Okay, so charisma scholarship. No! Chart! I want to be very persuasive. I also want to find um, the dude with the shop's shop. Oh, well that, that was an easy find. Don't really want to do a quest for him, but... Ah, he's not here. That's not fair. So what a change of clothes, man. I didn't... <laughs> the hell are those noises? Jesus. Hello. Hey, what are you doing here? I mean, I got to admit I'm a little flattered if you're stalking me, but uh Anyhow, uh, you see where your little security muffins ended up? Night shift lobby sergeant, huh? <laughs> hey, you stick with me, because I'm going straight to the top, baby. Yeah, I think you could help me up. Uh, I'd love to buzz you up, but according to Building Security Protocol 916, I'm going to have to verify you're supposed to be here before I can open the elevator. I hate to be a Louis Law, but I'm new here, and uh, you don't get a second chance like this every day. Uh, I'm here to see LaCroix. Could that be Sebastian LaCroix of the LaCroix Foundation or Dwayne LaCroix of Insurrection Baby Formula Company? I am just amazed that there's two LaCroix in the same building. Sebastian. Uh, okay then. Mr. LaCroix, he told me to expect someone fitting your description sometime tonight. You go right on up. Uh, yeah, thank you! Uh, you have a good power meeting, or uh, whatever it is you type to do up there. If you need any security, well, you just ring the front desk and ask for Officer Chunk. That's me, in case you were wondering. Thanks, I'll remember that. Um, is his last name really Chunk? Or does he think that he looks chunky? Because, like, that, those are two different things. There you are. I was informed of your presence in the building. Since you're here, I'll take the liberty of assuming you've destroyed the warehouse. This is correct, yeah? My camera's like focused really weirdly because it's half of us on his sheriff's, sheriff's arm. Yes, that is. Excellent. I had no doubt you'd prove my decision a prudent one. I trust you encountered no impediments to your progress on account of my personnel. Not at all. That is the answer I'd like to hear. You've done well, circumstances being what they were. I will admit, not many in your position would have overcome such a trial but don't misunderstand me it was no fool's errand you may yet prove to be a genuine asset it's a bit disturbing the lack of talent within this organization as of late tell me what would you say to doing a bit of reconnaissance for me i mean i'm getting a bit distracted by legs to the side of my camera i would say yes sir excellent were you by chance in the military at all I was an officer myself, actually, in Napoleon's ranks. There have been whispers, rumors spreading around the kindred community concerning the Elizabeth Dane, the cargo ship that was towed into port recently. Have you heard of it? Yes, go on. The police are investigating the Dane as we speak. Even the Nosferatu have little information on what's been That's found. That's probably because However, they don't the swim. The ship has caused such speculation is because it was transporting an object called the Ankaran Sarcophagus. Oh, thank you, Cabra! I'm not one to predicate a decision based on conjecture. So what I need is fact. And more importantly, I need evidence that the occurrences on the Dane were not supernatural in nature and in no way relate to this Ankaran Sarcophagus. What do you need me to do? You have three objectives. One. I want you to examine the sarcophagus for anything unusual. You may sense something peculiar about the sarcophagus. In fact, many kindred in the city have reported an uneasiness in the air. Yeah, I told you, I, I had anxiety all my life. Circumstances open the Ankaran sarcophagus. Secondly, the police have begun their investigation. Find out what they have concluded thus far. Thirdly, take the cargo manifest for the ship. I want to find out what else it was carrying. The last thing we want is police aware of our existence, so be careful what you do in front of them. And unlike the warehouse, 
You cannot wholesale slaughter a ship full of lawmen without consequences. Is this understood? Slaughter half a ship? Good. Oh. And it has come to my attention that you had an encounter with Nines Rodriguez earlier. The man so does love to throw that cretinous charm of his brashly about. What exactly did Mr. Rodriguez say? I am so surprised that you two are coexisting so peacefully, all things considered. He asked me to visit him at the last round. Consider it a lesson. You see, we Ventru sometimes must take it upon ourselves to patronize the rabble and hear them out with a look of genuine concern, no matter how ridiculous their notions may be. I'll go and see him. Give the Anarch community my regards. Okay. That was very straightforward, mostly because I have no way of charming you. That is completely fine, because I'm mostly only focusing on charming you. Well, actually, skip a whole mission. At a cost! At a cost, but it still will. I believe it's this way. There are definitely a lot of things happening in downtown. That's what I'm just not gonna look into up until the next run. There's a lot of things happening in downtown. One of these corners also has a um, Maximilian Strauss's, Strauss's place. No Sprouts here, no siree. <laughs> Talk of the town, poster child for Camarilla benevolence. What does the prince have his little bitch doing today? I am amazed that you're here and not the redhead. I'm looking for nines. Nines is expected. Have some manners and don't wear out your welcome. Act up again, and I'll be the one showing your ashes to the door. Uh, okay, later. Hey, I heard that. Oh, now that's nice. They just mixed up their locations, the unofficial patch, I mean, because normally you run into Damsel and then you run into Skelter over here and both stop you for a forced conversation. This way you only run into Skelter. Good. Here's what I gotta tell you. And so you know, I don't lecture, I don't rap, I'm no bureaucrat. I'm just a guy out of nowhere came to be involved in something 500 times bigger than you and me. Go on. You got a right to know the score. The Camarilla? This is the short of it. They operate a lot like a pyramid scheme. There's a bunch of these old timers at the So top. you mean if I sell a lot of Persifura perfume, I get to be at the top? They sired more to carry out their plans. And looking for a little power than those kindred sired for their own schemes and so on and on and on. It hurts my head just thinking about the mess. And it works out to is this. Only a few people at the top have any real power. Uh, isn't the prince the leader of the Camarilla? LaCroix? Shit. LaCroix's just the guy who backstabbed and wheeled and dealed his way into becoming king son of a bitch of all the local Camarilla. Him and any of the traitors that sided with the Cam want power here, they'll get what's due. Uh, so what are you all about? I learned the way of this world during the Depression. A bunch of old rich bastards screwed the country. But did they suffer? No. The little people suffered. You can't trust the people at the top. The world would be a better place without them. All you can do is get a group of people together who aren't assholes. Find a place to put your feet up and make some examples of the quote-unquote elite to keep the rest the hell out. Everyone's an equal here. The same thing this country used to be about. That's what L.A. has been. An anarch-free state. So is it like 
free of Anarx, so are Camarill and you two Ale? Camarilla was kicked out on their ass a long time ago. We the Anarx didn't want to play their politics anymore. Now the Croy and crew pop in like they never left. Uh-uh. No goddamn way. Their laws don't apply to us. Have you tried mating with them? I got their meeting right here. Ho ho ho! Sounds like you're the prince of the Anarchs. No such thing. And again, newbie, don't throw those kind of words around lightly. You're risking a beatdown. I fought to keep LA free since I was embraced. A long time later, I'm one of the only ones left that hasn't bit it or switched sides. The most veteran soldier on the battlefield. Oh, that must hurt. I think the command structure of your group leaves a lot to be desired. You, then. you go on back to your tower. Say what you want about me, but not one of us in this bar is a no-good, two-faced, backstabbing, would-be tyrant like that son of a bitch LaCroix. He and his Camarilla are on borrowed time. You tell him Nines Rodriguez said so. I'll do that. That went a lot worse than I thought it would. It's like, it's like the game senses. It senses who I aligned myself with. Without me actually telling the game that I have aligned myself with anything yet, so interesting. Maybe it's because I went to him after seeing LaCroix and waiting for LaCroix to ask me to go to him. Maybe that's what it is. Need a ride? Yeah, I, I, I do. Please. Uh, at some point I'm gonna do a run on Malkavian again. I'm, I'm Lovely gonna... evening. Lovely evening. I'm gonna have a wonderful time staring at that dude. Um, I kind of want to just hit our house first and check the emails because I haven't in a while. Oof. I, I, I think that's my blood vomit puddle. It's just that this place has no cleaners, so... I mean, Mercurio cleaned his front door. That's about it. I wonder how well insulated that apartment building is, because I am honestly feeling quite cold. Okay, nothing in the mail. So there's that. Let me just... use my antiquated email service. It has come to our attention that a sample of werewolf blood has made it into the hands of the local tabloid, and that they have sent it on to the clinic in Santa Monica for testing. The responsible party has been dealt with. Most painfully, I can assure you. But for obvious reasons, we can't have anyone testing the blood. Please retrieve the blood sample from the clinic. And leave it in your mailbox. You will be compensated accordingly. The White King moves, moves to protect his pawn. Hmm. The White King, eh? Wonder who's that? Well, while we're here, we may as well go and do that little thing for Lacroix. I mean, we wanna, we want specifically Lacroix to like us. He's gonna do every little thing that he wants me to. So. Well, don't worry. I wasn't asking question or asking you for that matter. I do like how the loading screens have like explanations and tips and stuff, but... Oh! <laughs> the girl in Santa Monica Clinic died and it's all your fault. Thanks, game. I never met her. That's the thing though, I never met her. The 
This time I do wanna find the laundry um, room and then the morgue. Because I bet that the blood is being tested somewhere. Oh. Not in the morgue, obviously, but somewhere in the rest of the hospital. Just that's just an office, it's admin. Does admin know anything about <laughs> computers for grandma? Actually let's let's see if we can even read that book. We can reach so you wanna shoot things. That's nice. We know too much. Email. A little help. Hey, Danny, I could use a little help down here. Can you go to controlled substances for some morphine? I'm pretty busy right now. Thanks, dog. Your mama. No, it's not for my personal use, you bastard. I didn't know they were out upstairs. Maybe you can get some in Malcolm's office. By the way, your mother wears combat boots. Oh shit, that's cold. But I'll make sure to knock before I go in. I hate to catch him in the middle of a pelvic examination. And by the way, tell your mom to stop calling me. Ugh. Hey Danny, we received an interesting blood sample from someone over at the sun. I guess some freak told them it was werewolf blood. You believe that shit? Anyway, they're paying us to run the numbers, so could you do that on your next shift? Many thanks. Now, how the hell am I supposed to know what you're testing for? Get creative, it's really not a big deal, but just see if there's anything strange about it. Where is it? Oh yeah, sorry, the sample is in the electronic cabinet in controlled substances. By the way, you down for some hoops this weekend? Jesus, do you know anything? I hate Phil changed the password a few hours ago. The new password is the name of Malcolm's dirty little secret. Oops, did I say that? You better delete this. So the password is a girl's name, probably. Plus the password is like, your mama. Oh, finally some pills. Please tell me it's not estrogen. Yeah, sure, I'll buff myself. The door's worth it. Ah, there we go. We found morphine. Email. And tonight, Malcolm, are you free tonight? Uh, he Bennis. I thought you could swing by my apartment after your ship. You still make house calls, don't you, doctor? I have something that needs to be checked. Paige, there we go. I really have to ask twice. We don't have to do anything if you don't want. But I really do need some help studying for my anatomy test, please. Guess I'll see you around five. I'm really glad you finally decided to come over. If you should want me to show my appreciation, you just have to ask. Malcolm, do you think you'll be able to get a day off next week? Mother's coming into town on Thursday. I brought a new mattress and some new curtains for the guest room. And do you think you can pick up some donuts and orange juice on your way home for breakfast? Ah, Dude's having an affair! With Paige! That's the staircase. It's the front of the hospital. And that's another staircase. I'm very perceptive. I 
This will be controlled substances. This area is for hospital staff only. Ah, uh, sorry! You're much too handsome to be working in a place like uh, this. Miss? Wanna find out if you're daydreaming? I'm just, I'm just sick. Spiting couple cards. Big deal. Ah! Oh, I think it says shadows, but that's still creepy. See a store. H? Apparently not. Dosage. Unlock. CS cabinet. Ah, there we go. That's page. Unlock. Everything's unlocked. How nice. This time around, <laughs> it was perfectly fine. Jesus, I did not. Ex I expected him to stop me again, but apparently no. He was like, oh, "I just, I dreamt a pretty lady." Lacroix is gonna be so happy. I didn't make a mess of this. I mean, there's security footage of me, but let's let's ignore that bit, shall we? It's definitely security footage of me doing that. Blue blood. Blue blue blue. There we go. I can have this. I have something else to do. There's also Mercurio. I finally found some morphine for the dude. It only took me halfway to forever. Ah, uh, it redeemed Masquerade! That's useful to know for all the times when I'm gonna fuck up. Oh, Mercurio definitely moved himself. So I'm gonna assume that he no longer needs the morphine. Which Bit upsetting. Then make my way down to your cream sister and hands up my Bavarian cream. <laughs> He's literally watching a bun. Hi In the Anarch community, my regards. I I did here's what Nothing Nine I said. Crassly delivered untold times within Elysium. You have to understand. Most of the Anarchs know no better option, or have been bullied into their cause by the Enrulia ones. You can't fault all for the boorishness of a few. Now that that's out of the way, I trust you're prepared to leave for the Dane. Ah, uh, yes, yes, I'm ready to go. I'm counting on an encore exposition of the talent you showed earlier. Go, and remember, under no circumstances are you to open the Ankaran sarcophagus. We'll talk later. Good. There's a boat waiting for you on the beach in Santa Monica. Okay. Open the Ankaran sarcophagus. Got it. Go in. Open it. It's gonna be so good. 
My cat is really going bonkers recently. Jojo! Hey! Hey! You, hey, what can I say? You preserve my ass. I truly appreciate you not saying anything, and I want you to know I take care of those who do me favors. So from now on, you need equipment, info, you come see me at my apartment. Don't, he don't hesitate. I- you look like you're feeling better. I tell you, that blood you guys got's an amazing thing. Help close up a few wounds. This back alley patch fixed up the rest. I needed that beating. Good reminder not to overestimate my ability. Last time it's gonna happen. I- I'm gonna look at what you have. Not much, honestly. I don't know why I would want to buy... rounds. For a mission where I'm not supposed to kill anybody. I don't know if I just in case I wanted to like shotgun a couple of people or something. That's that's not this run. But that's gonna happen. Definitely gonna happen. I really appreciate being able to just like mouse over this and seeing what what's what. I I'm gonna be very persuasive. Oh god. Um I may have some problem with ropes. Yo, oh, for Christ's sakes. Tell Jacobson if he plans on making editor-in-chief, he's got to start working with me. I can't keep getting him these scoops if he's going to send high school journalists who don't know enough to wear something that would blend in. But, but my dress is blending in just fine. I look really fancy. He didn't tell me this was a formal affair. Jeez. What kind of wood stain? Don't think to at least show dressed up like an investigator, a Coast Guard guy, something. I mean, didn't you ever see Fletch? What, are they just handing out those diplomas nowadays? <laughs> My clothes shouldn't be an issue to do come up, you know. Take it easy, Lois Lane. This is still a badge you're talking to. Now that the formalities are out of the way, what, what do you got for us? Right, look, I got you a copy of the initial report. And I can get you into the cabin, but you gotta make yourself real scarce after that. Anybody catches you, I don't know you. And no goddamn flash photography, brainchild. Where do I go? Hines to Marsh. Hines to Marsh. Marsh, they need you up in the bridge. Over. There. The security room will be clear. Got it. Head down the stairs behind you and stay low. When you get down there, wait for me to call off the guy guarding gangway A. As soon as he leaves, get your ass moving, and don't let him see you. I'll give you a couple of minutes, but don't dilly-dally. In and out, okay? Understood. Don't forget to stay out of sight. If anyone sees you, you're on your own. Take the stairs up to the security room. There'll be a computer in there. The password is Lighthouse. Lighthouse. All one word. You getting all this? Very useful. Now, move on. And don't forget to tell Jacobson I get double my usual fee for this one. Okay. What the f- do I still need to get something? The manifest of the ship. I, I thought I unlocked records. That's still outside. Troll. Yep, records are unlocked. Wherever they are. Wherever they are, records are now unsecured. It's all nice and fine, but I do get got to find them. Ah, there we go. There's the record room. Oof, lots of... Lots of blood bloods. Very bloody. That's all I think. Yep. As long as I find the right way back. Okay, that's. See that that's the wrong way back.
is everything so... Is it just water? Is that what it is? Everything looks so bloody messy in here. Yeah, thankfully that's an easy lock. Oof, that ship noise. Okay. You what? You boy! Now, just to get back to LaCroix and tell him that everything's lovely once again. See, I'm good at just picking up records. Very good at that. After we have identified how lovely everything is. I don't know where that sentence was going, honestly. I, I did have a sentence, then I got tired. That's not very good. Yeah, do the rest of downtown. Troy told me to keep an eye out for you, Coffee Cake. Said to send you right up. You know, I got a break in an hour and a fresh box of Krusty Creams in the back. How about on your way out? We, uh, huh? <laughs> That's the job. Keeping the undesirables out and the innocent safe and secure. I'm the thin blue line that separates the crazies from the hardworking, decent folks. Yep, as long as I'm around, Mr. LaCroix's got nothing to worry about. I'm sure he appreciates it. You're a lovely guy. I've said all I need to for now. It's really interesting to see Gary in person, unhidden. And I don't even know who the girl is. Or the man. Actually, I don't... Like, everybody that came from this direction, I don't know a single one of them. Hello! I don't have time for a monologue. Give me the bullet points of what you saw. Blood! And the Ankaran sarcophagus. What did you see? Opened. Opened? Let's not jump to conclusions. Give me the manifest in your notes. I'll sort this mess later. You might have noticed when you came in the parade of malingering mollycoddles filing out. And only two out of four of them really matter. Who were they? Those were the Primogen, this city's clan elders. A worrisome bunch devoted first and foremost to the security of their own skin. Which is why they were here. It seems Alistair Grout, the Malkavian primogen, has either forgotten how to answer his phone, or is missing. The Sabbat's appearance has put the primogen on edge. Grout's mansion is in the Hollywood Hills. I need you to pry Grout out of whatever crack he's crawled into and have him contact us. Certainly! Yes, Certainly, boss. Not. You know, your demeanor thus far bears similar characteristics to those that rise to the top of this organization. Stay that course. That is precisely what I'm trying to do. Yes. About Grout. As I said, Grout is the Malkavian primogen. His behavior and home are eccentric, to say the least. He's developed a paranoid bent lately, so you may have to check under every bed in the place for him. Uh, I'll go right away. When we hear from Grout, you may come back. 
Until then. Oh, and to show my appreciation for your dedicated service to me, I have secured you a haven nearby, in the Skyline Apartment Building. I hope it's to your liking. I definitely will be. For one thing, it's um, I won't need to take a taxi back home. I'm surprised. Get the skyline that fast. Um, if you're not butt kissing Lacroix, he still can be um nice to you. You can still get the second apartment, but it definitely will not be a fast thing. The guy that does things. Are you ever here? And Jesus Christ, that shooting. You guys, like, please stop. I mean, it's a gang fight. I suppose you can continue. You know, do whatever you like. Whichever you prefer, do that one. That's, that's the skyline. That's a very short apartment building. I always, like, looked at those ones. I didn't realize how short the skyline is. And it's called the skyline. Was that ironic? That is that why? I don't think I'm on the fir fifth floor, but we'll see. I don't actually remember where. I'm on the fourth floor. An apartment a floor, how fancy. That's very much space per apartment. He left me some bullets. How nice of him, considering that I am only using knives. I'm gonna assume that the an official patch put this in as an upgrade. But that was gross. Looked like I picked up somebody's boogers off my table. Eh. House complicated. Now from Santa Monica. Apartments 2A. So we're on the fourth floor. That's the third. There we go, this is the second. Mr. Milton, you know who this is. I do hope you realize that we're still on for tonight. Meet me at the agreed upon location across from the bar by the underpass. Bring your associate, Mr. Durbin, as it is a two-man job that I am proposing. With any luck, the two of you are already on your way, and I shall see you soon. Goodbye. Wait, wasn't that phone call made from the diner? I swear that was the same phone call. Across the street from a bar. Well, hopefully they mean the shady bar. That's what I'm gonna be investigating. You know, having vents like that is just not very secure. I mean, the game probably knows. Just wanted to make sure that I pointed out, though. Do I have 
anything else interesting in my apartment? Well, I have nice paintings, that's, that's for sure. Nice bed. Oh, that, that must be so comfy. Be so comfy. I even have fish. Oh. How would you feed it though? Because that, that feels like it's bolted in. You wouldn't just take front panel off to feed them, would you? Is it one of those things where you just like can't actually feed your fish? Because if it is, then that's very, very, very cruel. Very cruel. Oh yeah, that's a good point, actually. I forgot to check my email. Maybe they're gonna be like, thanks for the werewolf blood! I do like that I live here now, though. It's a nice place. Emal! Yes, Emal. Yep, nicely done! From your assistance was much appreciated in regards to the werewolf blood. Please find your payment in the mailbox. Stop by apartment when you get the chance. I'll set you up. Um, don't touch the butter. The new extreme sport that is sweeping the nation is now on a limited edition DVD. Watch superstars Iron Will McMahon, Brock, Ryhans Hines, and the Margin Mike Davenport as they use every bit of their restraint in their body to not touch the butter. <laughs> One bowl of butter, two contestants. Three judges, and a hell of a lot of willpower to order on Don't Watch the Butter the VTM. Hello, it's rigged, mate. I I actually really wanna see if that leads anywhere. Well, if it did, it's dead now. There is a video titled Don't Touch the Butter. I'm very sleepy, but other than that, okay. Thank you. Um, I'm taking a month to de-stress. Which means that I decided I don't really care if I'm gonna tank my Twitch viewership. I am just doing... A lot of bloodlines. So this is what this is. This is me de-stressing and recharging. <laughs> because it's, it's just gotten really bad. It's just gotten really, really, really bad. So I thought, you know what? Screw it. I'm just doing what, what might help. So that's how I am. How's, how's you? I hope that you're good. But don't worry, after October we'll be back to normal. <laughs> this is just the de-stressing factor and the spoopy month. But before that, I have plans to play through as much of this as possible. In staying different runs. Good! Need a ride. Everything's going lovely then. I'll I'll be going to the mansion place. Oh, this is the place where I should be able to slaughter again. You, what are you doing here? Pretty old and stuff, but damn those houses. They do have some impressive houses, man. Oh 
wish I had a house like that. No need to make a mess. <laughs> um, I suppose we're making a mess regardless. So that's one. Could be two. And um, you're just a snack. You're just a snack. It is quite peculiar, the happenings I've been made to witness for my supernatural longevity. I am thinking of one unfortunate phenomenon in particular, of unique interest to my station, both as a professional and as a sufferer of this vampiric condition. It seems the stream of time has begun to erode the moorings of my chosen course of study, for the methodologies that gave birth to psychology are slowly disappearing. I find myself in an era that overlooks the physical component of psychological pathology time and again in favor of the sophistic practices of Freud. Phrenology, dactopintalism, and the rest of the old god has fallen by the wayside, its champions all silenced in death, with my unique exception. Would that I could make my voice heard again, although it may be suspicious should I return to popular medical discourse fifty years after my apparent death. No, better that I continue my studies into the psychoses in secret. One day, may I hold up my own cure as validation of the methods. I am confident no cure for my condition or that of my beloved wife lies within our figurative minds, waiting to be unlocked by the correct combination of memories recovered from our childhoods. And I'm most certain it has nothing to do with the relationship between myself, my parents, and my genitals. Sorry, Sigmund, but I choose to stay my course. In time, too, may your star fade and disappear. Okay! Outside of the fact that he has a house full of loonies, he sounds very sane. Which is saying something for all Malkavian, but then again, it's, it's a Malkavian. But anyways, it's very late at night, and I kind of accomplished what I wanted to accomplish, which was to just, just get into downtown, just, just get a bit of gameplay in. So thank you all for who have joined me today, or tonight, and thank you all who have joined me on YouTube to watch these post, post, post fact, post them happening. And I hope, I hope that I get to see you throughout the rest of the month. Because this is, this is just what's gonna be happening for the whole of the spoopy month. So, thank you. Thank you for letting me do this. Nighty night.